Hello, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. We will be doing a pick a card reading today on uh, who's constantly thinking about you and why. I have three pals here. Pick from the pal that you're most drawn to. Pal number one is the pink heart. Pal two is the purple heart. And pal three is the white heart. I'll give you a moment to pick from the pal that you're most drawn to and then we'll get started on pal number one on who's constantly thinking about you and why. Okay, we'll get started on pal number one is the pink crystal. On uh, who's constantly thinking about you, pal number one. Let's see. Okay, it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag is thinking about you. This person could be an entrepreneur or a leader themselves, a boss on a job here themselves. Somebody very somebody's very ambitious, driven. Um this could also be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus is thinking about you. This person is a very kind, giving person here. They give back to a lot to the communities. People really look up to them. You know, they show a lot of kindness with uh, you know, all this wealth. And like I said, they could be an entrepreneur. A business owner could be a leader that makes a lot of money here, a boss on a job, but they also spend time giving back to people. So this is somebody that's very kind here. Um, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's constantly thinking about you here too. Um, this person, I feel like they looking for somebody to to complete themselves a family they you know they want a happy relationship they have the money here you know and they very giving back to others you know they love people here and they love seeing people happy here but now they want their happy family so this person is looking for you know that that's going to complete them this 10 10 of cups you know they looking for a family children to share this good fortune with um this person could also be uh well, it's an Aries, Leo, or Sag here again, but this is somebody that could be in the public eye, could be a teacher, a, a motivational speaker here, or some type of, could be a preacher or something like this, but this person wants a happy family here. Yep, they want to date you here, pal number one. They're looking for a courtship that's going to turn into a marriage and a happy family here. Maybe they want to take you to the courthouse, maybe not have a big wedding here. This person probably want a private, you know, uh, wedding here. They want to take you to the courthouse. Somebody wants to date you. They're looking for a wife or a husband. Take it as it resonates. Yep, they want to show you high honor. Make you the first lady or the first man in their life. They want to put a ring on it. They ready to date, get married here. They want children. They can't stop thinking about you. They feel like you the one. Yep, they want to sh share this wealth they have with you. It's like they do with others here. They want to share this money, give you gifts. This is somebody that's very patient. They've been watching you probably behind the scenes, maybe on, maybe on your social media or something that you're doing, but they patiently waiting for you. This person is patiently waiting on you. They've been asking spirit. This is a spiritual person. Like I said, this person could be a leader, a teacher, a motivational speaker here. But, you know, this person is spiritual because they talk to spirit a lot about what they want. It's time for a wife or a husband now. So they watching you. They constantly watching, watching you because they feel like you are the one. This person spent a lot of time alone. They may already have the foundation set with a nice, beautiful home, but it's nobody in the home. They ready for this Ten of Cups here, the happy family life here. And they've been asking Spirit to help them find a husband or wife, and they've been watching you. They feel like you are the one, pound number one. So this is all I have for uh, you guys, pound number one, on constantly watching you. We're going to be moving on to pound number two. <clears throat> And I would like to thank all you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Okay, pound number two is the um, purple heart. 
we're going to see who's constantly thinking about you, pal number two. Okay. Pal number two, who's constantly thinking about you? It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag that's thinking about you. Whoever this person is has really been through a lot, you know, from people, you know, you know, backstabbing them, burning them down in the past here. This person really been through a lot. I mean, they done took a time out from dating here. They don't go out much. You know, they meditate a lot. They rest a lot. They, you know, they stay to themselves a whole lot here because of the things that they've been through here. This could also be a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, as well as an Aries, Leo, or Sag, just constantly thinking about you. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this person is definitely looking for love here. But they kind of, um, you know, it's like they kind of afraid to because of what they've been through in the past, but they are watching you and hoping for the best. But this person definitely want a romantic relationship here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, this person is going to be happy with someone, happy in love, you know. They want to be happy in love, relationship here. This person is coming to offer you love here. They want a happy relationship, a happy family life with you. Like I said, they want to marry. I didn't know that was here, but this person that's constant watching you, they are ready to love here. They're ready to ask you to be in a relationship with them. They're ready to get married, have the happy family, children. Yep. This is somebody very mature. Take it as it resonates. They have matured a lot, and they know exactly what they want. It's kind of like they've been afraid. That's why they stay to themselves with their four swords. Um, you know, but this is somebody definitely see you as a potential wife or husband here very mature person here man or woman yep they want to give you gifts like with their son card they want to share their prosperity their happiness to be in love had a happy family this person wants to gift you with something money give you more money or could be a ring here because this person wants to get married here like i said they want to share their great fortune with you all this abundance that they have, they are, they feel like you are the one pound number two that you are marriage material, somebody that they can share their wealth, their life with, be happy with here. Yep, they looking for love like the Knight of Cups here. This person is looking for love and marriage, all of these things. They ready to give you money, share their abundance with you. I feel like this person feel like with this envy card being there, maybe they envious of the things you already doing. Not saying that you already in a relationship, but they envy your, you know, you being able to be happy and free and they ready for somebody like you. It's kind of like they envy you. Maybe they've tried to reach out to you before and it seems that you all tied up and maybe that's what they envy is about. You know, maybe they try to reach out to you on social media. Uh, I feel like this is somebody new here. I feel like this is a new person, not somebody from your past, but this person may be a little envious in a way that, you know, <clears throat> like I said, maybe they tried to reach out to you and you always telling them you tied up, you busy, and they envying the part that, you know, you don't have time for them and they reaching out f to you. I feel like this is good, I mean, on both ends. I mean, you don't have to right away, you know, sometimes you don't have to get right back with a person or make no decisions right now, but this is how this person feels that you all tied up. Maybe they've try, already tried to reach out to you and, you, you know, it's kind of like they feel like you downplaying them or something here. But this person really has their eye on you and feel like you are the one. This is giving this person a lot of anxiety, you know, that you're so busy, that you're being all tied up. Maybe you're not responding to them as fast as they want you to here. But overall, this is a good message. This is somebody that's, you know, that's really ready for love here, to really ready for a family, ready to get married here, to share their whole life with you, all this abundance they have here. This could be a woman or a man. Take it as it resonates. But only thing I see with that envy card, I don't feel like this person is jealous of you. It's just jealous or envious that you don't have the time or you're not, you know, hearing up 
you know, getting with them or want, you know, making it move like, you know, they accept the offer or let's date or, you know, let's go out or something here. You make, you know, it's like to them, you making up a lot of excuses that you tied up here. So this is all I have for pile number two. We will be moving on to pile number three. Okay, pile number three. Pile number three. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's um, constantly thinking about you. It could be somebody from your past here, too, that's constantly thinking about you that wants to return here. Let's see. This person has really been through a lot here. You, like I said, this is somebody returning from your past. You know, um, they have picked their back, self back up when they was going through the lowest point in their life here. You know, they was going through something that had them in a very bad way, but they have picked themselves back up here. This person is, um, I feel like the person is returning back to you that's constantly thinking about you as somebody that's more balanced now than they were then. You could have been in a relationship with this person in the past, and you know, they had a lot going on. They wasn't balanced. You know, they really didn't know, you know, which way to go in life now. I mean, you know, it took them through a whole lot. Maybe y'all broke up. You know, and this person is feeling like, okay, I'm more balanced. I got myself together. I have healed. I got back up. You know, um, my thinking is clearly here. This person here, now they ready for balance in their life, stability with you. Yep, this person wants to make you the privileged lady or they look at you like you a privileged lady in their life. You know, somebody's very beautiful here. You could take it as a resonate man or woman. You can be somebody very beautiful. You know, um, they look at somebody as being, you know, you are very privileged here, you know. And this person feel like they missed the opportunity of before, but they coming back bigger and better, you know, more stable now, more patient, you know. They have healed here. You know, this person have gotten back up. They feel like, you know, this time, you know, um, it's going to work this time. I feel like this is somebody that you was in a past relationship with. But they will be returning. But this person is constantly thinking about you all the time. Maybe they moved away. This could be somebody that moved away or you moved away from them or moved out of this relationship. You packed up. You left. But now they want a second chance with you. They're going to be returning here. I feel like it could have been somebody. You could have been married to this person. Had children with them or whatever. They sit here and think about, you know, all the family good times y'all had in y'all home. I feel like this with this family room is. It could have been, like I said, take it as it resonates. You could have been married to a man or woman. Or y'all could have had a family together. They miss all of these things. And and, and, and once upon a time, they were, struggling mental, they were struggling mentally. You know, they had a lot going on, you know. I mean, this person was in a very bad way. Now they got they self together, they more balanced, they more focused, they more patient. This per person could be in bad health here and not, necessar not necessarily uh, physical, it could be mentally. You know, this person could be in a, you know, they want their family back now. They want this relationship back and they could have a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry here about are you going to accept them back now, you know, since they've changed and they have healed. This could have been somebody that's very deceitful in the past here. So use your own discernment, you know, but this person is constantly thinking about you. It is somebody from your past, you know, I don't know how bad this was in, when y'all were in this relationship, but it, it was some deceit here. Maybe this person cheated or lied about a whole lot of things, but, you know, they better now. So use your own discernment, but this person is thinking and they are going to come your way. It is somebody that you walked away from.
you walked away from this marriage, this relationship, you know, the family life with this person, maybe because of some deceit that, you know, that they were putting out there at that time. But this person is ready now, to, you know, to make everything right again in this relationship. Uh, <clears throat> Money could have been the problem in this relationship. This person could have been spending a lot of money or money could have been, you know, not being accounted for here. And there could be reason why the deceit card came out. This person could have been lying a lot about money or spending money on things they shouldn't have been spending it on. They were overspending here, you know. They wasn't holding on to anything probably for the family here, you know. And so you just got tired and you walked away. But this person is really thinking about you and this family now. Now they're ready to use a different strategy this time. You know, they want to be better. They want to be balanced. They want to be patient. They want, you know, everything. They want their family back here. This is somebody from your past that you was in a relationship here with, pal number um pound number three so this is all i have for you guys on um, who's constantly thinking about you guys press the like share subscribe and comment if you feel free to and i thank you guys for watching miss t's tarot see you next time